Hello, hello, and welcome back. Today, we're gonna make a UGC portfolio together. So I've come across a common concern that people are having creating their UGC portfolios. They don't know how, they wanna create it for free, they don't have videos to create the portfolio. How do you create a portfolio if you don't have any videos? I will be answering all those questions for you. So let's just get into it. Your portfolio is extremely important. It's basically like your resume for UGC. This is the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to send to clients or clients are going to ask you for. So you're gonna to wanna to make it really nice. You wanna make it show your best work and you wanna make it something Something you're proud of you know so I'm gonna do a screen recording with you guys and we're just gonna create it together and of course if this helps you at all don't forget to leave a comment and let me know I love to hear it so we're gonna be using canva and canvas just amazing there's so much to do on here whether you're using the pro version or you're just using the free version they have so much on here so when you come on canva they have this search bar and you can type in whatever you want so we're doing portfolio now they have, look at all these templates, 11,000. Okay, hit see all. And now it's gonna give you a bunch of templates for a portfolio. I will link the one that I'm gonna choose here. You could see that there's all different variations. Let's just do a simple free one. Very simple, okay. So you hit customize template. And then even when you come in here, you see on this side, they have all these different types of templates that are now your ratio. So if you wanna choose a different one, you can pick a different one. We'll just go with this one. Hello. So your first slide will be your intro slide. You wanna make it super simple, don't overload it. So we're gonna do my name, UGC content creator whatever you want to do whatever your specialty is what you call yourself it doesn't have to be UGC but that's what we're focusing on so I don't let's get rid of this and then usually I would just put I want to keep the same font let's go to 25 and I'll do email at gmail.com Put that right there, your email, and then obviously a picture of you. Let's see, I'm sure I got a picture of me in here somewhere. Oh, nice, okay. <laughs> Any just nice picture here? Okay, we'll use this one. All right, so, picture of yourself, your name, what you do, how to contact you. The next page is going to be your videos. Right away, just go straight into it. That's what they wanna see. So let's get rid of all of this. Again, we'll keep the same font. So you could kind of write anything you want up here. Let's put previous work. And then you're gonna put videos. So for my portfolio, I personally have about five slides on my portfolio, four videos on each slide. And I have them organized into what they are. So let's say I have like testimonial videos, scripted ads, fashion videos so that if a brand comes on to my portfolio, they could be like, okay, um, I want her to be doing fashion. Let me go to her fashion videos. I need a testimonial. Let me go to her testimonials and watch them. If you don't have that much of a variety of videos, that's completely fine. All you have to do is write previous work and then let's go to elements and go down, down, down to frames. They have a bunch of different frames you can choose from. Let's just do just a regular, you know, regular vertical frame. Then I would size it. Duplicate, that's what this little thing is. Okay, Canva automatically just does that for you. That's awesome. Okay, so now you have your kind of base set up for previous work and let's say you wanna put eight videos. So double that and then start placing your videos in. Let's see, I have to have a video around here. Okay, yeah. So I'll take this video and put it here. Dealing with dog pee stink oh. used to be. <laughs> so you see how it automatically plays the video? Once you place your video here, click on it, click playback, and then shut this off. Because if you don't shut it off and you have all your videos on there, when someone clicks on your portfolio, all the videos are going to start playing and it's going to make their head spin. So 
definitely click that so they can choose which videos they want to be playing. So if you're a beginner and you have no videos to put on your portfolio, you can still do this for free. Look around your house at all the products that you love and use all the time. Grab a couple of them and make four videos out of it and act like you're literally making them for the brand and then put those on your portfolio. So you can still make a portfolio even though a client has not paid you to make a video. You can make your own video and put what type of work you can give and that will start you off to get paid deals. Now the next slide will be for your UGC photos. So delete all of this. And by the way, the titles, you really can make them whatever is most fitting for you. It doesn't have to be what I'm doing, but it's definitely a good base to start with. Okay, so now we'll go to some pictures. Let's see if I have, I do have some pictures. Okay, so here's a picture with a water bottle. And then we have me and my pup. And if you want, you could pick cute frames to do and you would just line up pictures so that they can see. I would make, a, you can make them like a little smaller so that you could fit more. And again, if you don't have pictures, just take a couple of product pictures or you with the product and you can use those, that's fine too. Now your next slide will be the services you provide and your rates if you want to put them. You don't have to put your rates. Personally, I don't have my rates in my rate card, so if a client contacts me asking to work with me, then I'll send them my rates, but that's just personal preference. I don't know, some UGC creators say, put your rates in it, some do say, do not do that. It's just personal preference. Do whatever you wanna do, do whatever makes you feel good. But um, I personally don't have my rates in my portfolio, so it's not 100% necessary. If you do decide to put your rates, I'll just show you what I often see on just regular portfolio, bleh, regular portfolios. They'll do one video, five videos, uh, uh, sorry, three videos, five videos, and then, and then you would just put prices for them. So uh, let's use this little line that they gave us. That's cute. And then services, basically what you offer to do. So let's say you do testimonials, scripted ads, and service-based UGC. That, that's what you're offering, let's just say. Service-based UGC is UGC for services, literally. So you're not getting a product. Um, I did videos for a car shipping company, so they didn't send me anything. It was just videos for their website for car shipping. So that's just a service or like an app. If someone has you make a video for an app, again, they're not sending you a product. It's just the service that you're making videos for. Um, scripted ads, testimonials, whatever services you want to put down, you add that into this page. Okay, so now for your next slide, this is where you can add a little about me section if you want, you know. Um, listen, <laughs> a quick word of advice. You do not need to add why UGC and you do not need to add a full novel about yourself. They don't want to see that. And majority of everyone knows why UGC. It's known now, it's a known thing. You don't need to waste valuable space on your portfolio saying why you should choose UGC or your whole life story. It's not necessary. They don't want to see it. So. You can just put in a little about me section, a couple of sentences. Hi, my name is blah, blah, blah. I'm a content creator located here. I do this and this and that. Contact me, I don't know, whatever. Whatever you wanna say to work together. A very short about me. So yeah, very short about me. You could put maybe a little picture of you or something. Also, this is like a weird kind of, it's not a weird tip. I was gonna say this is a weird tip. But if you have a pet, like a dog or a cat, and you are willing to put them in your videos, definitely add a picture of you and your pet because a lot of companies like to see that because they'll say, oh, can you add your pet in the video? Or can you make videos with your pet? Da -da -da -da. So it's just if you want to add a picture of you and your dog or something. Plus it's cute. I'd want to see it if I was looking at a portfolio. 
and your last slide is going to be the contact you, your contact information. You could put like, um, like a call to action or something like, uh, let's work together. I think those little stars back there are cute. We'll put it over here. Oh, really, really freaking cute. Okay. Um, and then you put all your contact information. So email at gmail.com and you want to put your socials at Instagram, let's say TikTok, I don't know, whatever social platforms that you have that you want to share in your portfolio, that's what you'll put on here. Now, you can also add hyperlinks to these so that they can just click on it and it'll bring you, I mean, it'll bring them straight to your socials. So let's go to Instagram. So now I would just copy my link. And also, let me say this too. You can go to Elements. I have this on mine. I feel like it's just a cute little added thing. Let me go to the frames. And you could get the icons. So Instagram. And you know, place your little icon next to it, whatever you want to do. Get an email one, a TikTok one. So you click. Depending on what you want them to be able to click on, I personally do the handle itself if you want to just do the little picture you can but you click on it hit these buttons and down here it says link click on that and then paste your link for your instagram whatever hit enter now link added you'll be able to click it whoever clicks on your portfolio they'll be able to click it and it will route them straight to your instagram account okay so your portfolio is done you filled everything out this one is definitely not filled out all the way but you get the point um, now you're going to hit share and you're going to go here. You're going to hit website, convert to website. Let that go through. Yeah. Resize on mobile. Make sure that's clicked. So then when people see it from a mobile device, you know, it's different free domain. So the domain is free. You can purchase a domain through Canva if you want, but again, this is all free. So you have free domain clicked, hit continue then this is what's going to come up. Obviously, I wouldn't want that to come up. I would put portfolio. So then it's going to come up if you see right here, UGC content Alyssa dot my Canva site slash portfolio. If you want to put a description, you could put a description. And then I would change this to up top. That's what it's going to come up as UGC content Alyssa because that's what I use and that's how it would come up. You preview it and then you hit publish and your website is published. And that is how you make a UGC portfolio. I hope this was helpful for you guys, especially my people that are just getting started with UGC. I hope I answered all your questions. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, comment them down below. I love hearing from you guys. I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.